knowing that if they lost, that they would be criticized, let alone giving up seven. Well, I think, Frank, it actually, to me, made a little bit of sense. And I know that's probably different than what a lot of people are talking about. But when you've got Marc-Andre Fleury, you're going into the second game on the road. It's a game you're probably not going to win. Uh, you've got a veteran who might be able to come in there and stand on his head and steal a game. And and look, the game goes a couple of overtimes uh, in game one. Gustafson is not an experienced playoff goaltender. So I actually thought... Uh, the decision from Dean Evason was kind of to shield and protect Gustafson uh, from that type of outcome. Because at the end of the day, the Stars can score goals. They're going to get on the power play. Uh, they've got guys that can hurt you in Robertson and Sagan and so on and so forth. So I actually didn't mind the move because at the end of the day, most likely you're not winning that game on the road. You're not going up 2 nothing against Dallas. So if anything, I thought they spared Gustafson the opportunity to come in there uh, and face a little bit too much fire. Well, you knew they'd also be fired up not playing without Joe Pavelski either. My flip side and counter argument to that would be well, what if Gustafson plays and he's lights out again and you're able to take that 2 nothing advantage home? That'd be pretty unbelievable. But I'm with you in the sense that I think this idea, Colby, of playing one goalie for the entire two-month run is foolish. If you would say at any point in the year that one guy is going to play all two months consecutively, let alone when you get to the playoffs, the games are more stressful, they're more strenuous. You mentioned the double OT and all the different things that go into it. I think playing in a tandem in the playoffs is the way of the future. There's exceptions to every rule. Andre Vasilevsky playing every single second of three consecutive Stanley Cup final runs for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's not going to happen all that often, whether it's injury or anything else. I think you need to rotate. My question is, did it need to be right off the hop? I think someone's going to do it. The Wild step out on the ledge, and they kind of end up paying the price in game one, in game two. 